But one thing I do. Hi, my friends. Welcome to your favorite channel, What the Bible Says with Simbazi Atiti. So today we have Pastor Atiti in our midst. And um, well, before we continue, I want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. <laughs> Thank you yeah. all for supporting us in um, the year 2020. And uh, we also want to say thank God for bringing us to a brand new year 2021. We really appreciate God for his mercies and grace. his grace and yeah. protection over our lives yeah. so and uh, gr greetings to you all and uh, i will say happy new year to every one of oh, you one of the things the lord placed in my heart which you know which i have been you know preaching since is still saying that this year is our year for divine advancement divine advancement yeah so yes. our god our god is a dynamic god you know, despite all our troubles, despite all our challenges, God is still God. That's He's right. still a miracle working God. Amen. He still does wonders. He still does signs. No matter what the situation we've been through all the year 2020, 2020, I'm encouraging myself. I'm encouraging as many that comes on my way. And I thought I should just share these words of encouragement. Before we go, just one of our great prayers together, wherever you are. Father, Lord, we thank you tonight. We bless your name for the privilege of knowing you, of privilege of you being our Father. Father, we thank you for the love you have for us. We thank you for saving our souls. We thank you for the gospel. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your church all over the world. And we thank you for everything that we went through last year. We thank you for new things that you have begun in this year, 2021. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory. And I pray as many that are watching us right now, wherever you are, and as many that will listen to this video clip, and I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding, it will rest upon you and your household in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. I pray that this year, by the grace of God, it shall be better than what we expressed last year in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Folks, this evening I just want to share with us with the word of, uh, with the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the church in the Philippi. In the church in Philippi, and that is the book of um, Philippians chapter 3, from, actually from verse 10. Okay. Yeah. There's a message that Paul wrote to the church in Philippi, and that's what I want to encourage us with this evening. And uh, pretty much I'm going to start from verse 10. And it says, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. And so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the death. Not that I have, I have already obtained all this, or have I already arrived at my goal? So, but I press on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. And in Acts verse 13, which is my way I draw my exhortation from this evening, is brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. Apostle Paul said, there's one thing, but one thing I do, he said, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. That is my message of hope for you, people of God, this, this evening. I don't know what your case may be. I don't know what your challenges may be. I don't know what your circumstances may be. I don't know how interesting and how terrible your 2020 has been or your previous year has been. But there's a hope in the word of God to you tonight. Wherever you are, this message is strictly for you. And the Lord is telling me to tell you that you should work, get what is behind and push to it. Make conscious effort to pursue what is in your front. And that's why he said to us in the, in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19, 18 to 21 actually, he said, forget about the formatting. God, God is not interested in the formatting. God is interested in what is now. God, what is the present time? I said, God is not a historical God. God is a futuristic God. God is interested in what he can do for you now. Forget how you felt yesterday. Forget where you made a mistake yesterday. Forget where you had it wrong yesterday. That's not what God is interested in. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. 
Apostle Paul, having gone through all the sufferings, if we are to rank or we are to evaluate or to compare the level or the work that all apostles did in the scripture, Apostle Paul should be ranked number one. Why do I say so? Because when you look at the New Testament, we have 27 books from Matthew to, to Revelation. We have 27 books. Apostle Paul wrote 13 episodes. If you did your Bible study very well, you realize that Apostle Paul wrote 13 episodes of it. He did more. He did more. But if we said he is the least among the apostles, mm. right? Now he suffered a lot of persecution. He said he has learned to be either in abundance or in scarcity. Mm. He has learned to be whether in need or in want. He said he has learned to be in all of this. Mm. So, folks, our relationship of, with God is interesting. But there's one thing we have to know. God never promised us. Jesus never promised us a journey. journey yeah. Because if he said in his word, he said, he said, though in the world there shall be tribulation, mm -hmm. there shall be persecution, mm -hmm. there shall be temptation. Mm -hmm. He said, but cheer up, I have overcome mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. But we need to live out and up the victory that Christ has given to us. Right. But what I have the good news, the good news I have for you is that the Lord said I should tell you wherever you are, forget about 2020. Forget about the pandemic, what loss, what pain he has caused in your life. Yes. Because God is beginning to do another new thing. Praise the he Lord. Said, one thing I do, in the case of Apostle Paul, he said, but one thing I do, forget the things that is behind me. And do a strain forward things that is ahead of me, of, of us. Mm -hmm. Every child of God, every believer has a prize ahead. And every believer has a past. Mm. Every believer has challenges. Take time to study the life of Apostle Paul. You see that his story was, they were so imperfect. Yes. Amen? He, he was in prison so many times. He was persecuted so many times. He, was, he suffered a lot. But yet, he said, but one thing I do, I don't care about the past. About the past. Yeah. So what were those things Apostle Paul were saying he forget? Apostle Paul, this he brought this he brought us back to his own experiences, his own challenges. Mm -hmm. That was a time he was persecuted in the church of God. That was a time he was putting his effort on his and putting his confidence on himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There was a time, you know, there was a time he was totally against the will of God. That's right. So that's why I said, he said, but one thing I do. He said, I put those things he behind. Has those he has times. forgotten those times. So that he can, that he can move forward. There is something awaiting you in the future. In every race competition, there is a prize. And one of the major determinants and the motivator of a racer or a, or a runner is the prize that is ahead. That's right. What is motivating you with God? In God, what is the drive in Christ Jesus? You must learn how to do one thing. Putting things that is behind you I'm pressing for the things that is ahead of you. Yes. Praise it the Lord. What is ahead of you? God is interested in what he's beginning to do in your life right now. Mm -hmm. Are your friends deserted you? Are your relationship with your, with your spouses having challenges? Don't let that affect you. Get up on your feet and press for the things that is ahead of you. What are those things we are to put behind us? And I realize in life journey sometimes... That uh, most of us are where we are today because we are refusing to move forward. Mm -hmm. In other words, the limitation we have in life is the one we personally, knowingly and unknowingly impose it on ourselves. That's right. Right. So most of us are stuck where we are because of our past ex experiences. Mm -hmm. But God does not work like that. God is interested in where you are now, not where you were yesterday. Right. So that's why if you must enjoy the blessings, the, the, the glory of God, the uh, unctions of God, the fruitfulness of God in 2021, then cast, put behind you 2020. There's a place, there is a place of greatness that God is taking you to. Amen. There's a place of greatness that God is taking to taking his church to. That's why I said in Isaiah, forget about the former thing. 
God is not interested in the formatting. He's interested in the future. Mm -hmm. He's interested in the now. Mm -hmm. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He wrote the page one to the end of the page of your life. If there is all, if all your pages of life history have been torn, God is more than able to rewrite them again and to give you a fresh beginning. Children of God, let the past go. Keep them behind you and launch forward. Is it in your businesses? Launch forward. There's greater opportunity. Is it in your marriage? Get up. Trust in the Lord. He will rescue you again. Is it in your job? God is about to lift you up even in your place of work. Amen? Amen? Is it in your career? God is opening more doors for you for another new career. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is it in your health? He's orchestrating his, his power of healing upon your life. Amen. And I said, what are those areas that we need to put behind? What are those things? Number one, you have to put, you have to forget and put behind you what? The past sin and iniquities. Sin is only there to pull you out from God's presence. The devil want to make you sin. And you know when you sin, you begin to guilt yourself. And you are not able to come boldly to, the, to God's presence. And that's why Jesus came and said, no way. The power of sin has been destroyed. The bondage of sin has been destroyed. He has paid for the price. So we do not come we, we, we do not come to God the way we are, but there is a there is a curtain that is open to us to ascend the prayer of God. That's the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And he said, when we sin, he said, confess your sin, repent, turn away from them, and promise God that you're not going to go back to it. Are you going to say? And God said he forgives you. And when he forgives, he remember them no more. So if God has forgiven you your past sin, your past iniquity, why are you still dwelling in them? That is not from God. That is the devil. That is your. That is the enemy attacking your heart. Mm -hmm. God has forgiven you. It's a way you confess. He's faithful to forgive you all your sins. Praise the Lord. So one of the things you must forget and put behind you is your past sins and our iniquities. Praise the Lord. Another way again is our mistakes and our failures. Any man born of woman is vulnerable to mistake and, and failures. Mm -hmm. Amen. No one can say he hasn't made mistake in life before. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No one can say he hasn't failed in one thing or the other before. Because the Bible talks about it. The Bible talks about it. it says the righteous will fall the seventh time, the eighth time they will rise and they will fall no more. So the scripture said that. So don't think you are a superman or that you can't fall. The Bible says, let him that think and stand, take he, let him fall. We only but can stand through the strength of Christ Jesus. Without Christ, we got nothing. Mm -hmm. and that's why I said, by strength and no man prevail. Mm -hmm. But we can do all things through, through Christ, Christ who strengthens us. In other words, if you have made some mistakes in life journey, in your past, don't let it affect your today and your future. Yeah. The mistake is gone. The failure is gone. There is another opportunity. Mm -hmm. Our God is a God of opportunity. That's right. Our God is a God of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that you should have a memory loss of your failure, of your mistake. No. But don't allow the impact of, you, the, of, of your mistake or your failure to, as, to affect your judgment mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. So if you must enjoy the blessings and the glory of God in this year, 2021... You must learn to you must let go your what your mistakes and what your failures. The same way we do not merit it, we do not deserve it, neither do we deserve righteousness and holiness. We receive the through grace, we receive the righteousness of God. So it's not about where you are, it's about what God thinks about you. That's right. So it's time for you to wake up, it's time for you to stand on your feet. And put behind your mistakes and put behind your failures. Amen? Amen. The Bible said that the power of God is made perfect in the weakness of man. God has made us weak beings. It's only God that is powerful and strong. God is just and faithful to fulfill that which he has promised you. Praise it the Lord. Another area that we should not, we should put, we should forget and put behind us our past sources and pleasures. 
Amen. But the danger of it all, when you relax in your comfort zone or the comfort zone of your pleasure or your sources, it affects your enthusiasm. It affects your interest or your motivation of wanting to push harder. Ask God for another new sources. Yes, so we press, we strain harder, work harder, effortless, pushing for the tomorrow ahead of us. Because greater things are on the way. The scripture said that the, the glory of the latter of the latter house shall be greater than what? The past. So yesterday is gone. 2020 is gone. This is another fresh year. As many that believe, as many that accept it, the, this year the Lord will release his wondrous works upon your life and your family and your ministry in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will release His signs and His wonders upon your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Be holy for your Father God is holy. is holy. So your holiness for yesterday is not enough for today. It's the price ahead of you in 2021. What are your goals? What are the set lines, objectives you want to achieve this year? It's achievable. It's possible in Christ Jesus. Amen. Don't allow what you have, where you failed yesterday to affect your decision today. Amen. Don't allow where you made mistake yesterday to affect your decision. The future is bright for you, somebody. Amen. The future is better for you, somebody. Amen. Only just wake up and believe in the power of God. That's what Apostle Paul prayed. He said, anyone who know Christ in his power of the resurrection, mm -hmm. that one thing he do is what, put, he says, forgetting what is behind mm -hmm. and putting forward what is ahead. Amen. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he says what? He said, the thought I have for you, they are the thought of good and peace. And not of what evil. evil to give you a better future. future. Another say for to give you an expected mm -hmm. end. There is a better future this year. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. There is a better and expected end for you in 2021. Amen. Even beyond your widest imagination. Mm -hmm. You say, eyes have never seen, ears have not heard of what the Lord is about to do for you in 2021. Mm -hmm. All you need is to what is to believe. And to live by the word of God, and they will surely come to pass. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, let you go. I have three prayer points that I want to pray for you. Me and my wife want to pray for you. You're going to pray every evil arrow every fired arrow into, my spirit, fire into my spirit to limit, to limit or to slow my speed. Slow my speed this year. This year. Backfire. Backfire. Return back, Return back to your senders. To your senders. I want you to pray again. The scripture says in the book of Proverbs, it says, Any man that diggeth a pit shall surely fall into another pit. It says, He that rolleth a stone in the same manner, same that stone which may return back, back to them. It's the same prayer. Mm -hmm. Another one we're going to pray. If you look at the life of the children of Israel and Goliath and David, the Bible says, Each time the children of Israel sees Goliath, they will be so afraid. Instead of them advancing, they will retreat, they will run back. Praise God. Which means Goliath was like a terror or a terrorist in their life. Amen. It was thing that was ter that, that was terrorizing their life. So anytime people are to make progress, that are powers released to terrorize you or to frighten you or to make you not to run or to complete what you have started. So I want to pray this prayer number two. Say powers, powers assigned, assigned to, terrorize to terrorize me or to frighten, or me. To frighten me in the name of Jesus. The name of be, Jesus terrorized be terrorized by the power, by the power of, the of the Holy Ghost. Say every power, every power assigned, assigned to, terrorize to terrorize me or to frighten or me, to frighten me in, my journey, in my journey this year. This year in the name of Jesus, be terrorized, be terrorized, be terrorized, be terrorized in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you look at the life of wife, Lot's wife, the Bible says, and the way they were about living Sodom, the instruction that nobody should look back. But unfortunately, this woman looked back. She looked back. She was looking back. But they said, nobody looked back. And it's, as the children said, what? Forgetting what is behind. But this woman never forgot what was behind. Mm -hmm. And you know the end of the story. Praise it the Lord. In other words, this woman was distracted. When you are on a race or you are in a race, you have to be focused and have to pay attention in order not to be what? 
to be distracted. So when God puts you on a track, on a lane, to achieve a, pro, a, a thing or a prize, there are powers that are released to distract you. Amen? Amen? You might not understand it, but they are there. That's why I want to pray for you, so wherever you are, that in this 2021, say powers, powers. assigned to drag me, assigned to drag me back, back to the past things, to the past or to my past failure. Or to my past in the name of Jesus, the name of I Jesus. come against you. I come against in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every power, every power assigned, assigned to drag me, to drag me back. Back to my past failures, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I, come against I, you. Come against you. I come against you, I come against you, I come against you, I come against you, in the name of Jesus, amen. Finally, you're going to pray, say, oh Lord, anointing for divine speed in this year 2021, let it come upon me and let it rest upon me, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, anointing for divine speed. In this, in this year 2021, let it come upon me, let it, upon me. Let it rest upon let me, rest upon and let it work for me, in the, in, the in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Amen. let that spirit rest upon us now, Amen. let the anointing rest upon your body, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. thank you Father, thank you, in Jesus mighty name we pray, Amen. as many of you that will find time to pray this prayer, the God that answered by fire will answer you in Jesus mighty name, Amen. and as many that will watch this clip, at one time or the other, as you lift up your voice to pray this prayer, that God that answers by fire will answer you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to, we want to pray together. Yeah. Heavenly Father, King of glory, Amen. we thank you for today. Thank you, we bless your holy name Hallelujah. for the opportunity you have availed us to share your word tonight. Yes, we pray that your word will be a light, which it is, and illuminate us, O God, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that this year, 2021, you have begun a brand new thing in our life. Father, may we live to testify to those new things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every power that has been assigned to frustrate us, O oh God. Every power that has been assigned to push us on our track, O oh God. Father, may all of them be cut off in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We will reach our goal this year. Amen. We will reach our goal this year. Amen. We will reach our goal this year. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Say a louder amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Thank you, my friends. And thank you for saying with us, if you have watched up until this moment, God bless you. Find time to pray those prayer points in your quiet corner. And you and I will testify big in this 2021. Amen. Until we see you in another video with another teaching, remain blessed and uh, keep doing what the Bible says. And until then, we'll say bye-bye and shalom. shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye.